Evening Troopers. I'm fat. I'm more than fat. I'm Christmas full. We've had enchiladas for tea. And I'm, I'm rammed. I'm up to here. I sound like Northern Gamer. We've had enchiladas for tea. And I'm up to here with them. I can't breathe. I'm so full. Oh, no. Yeah. I'm really full. So I might be a bit hiccupy. I'm a bit uh, allergic to fussy dogs today as well. So bear with. Not at my best. Brain's ticking, body falling to bits, which is essentially the story of my life. So tonight's video then, what's it all about? I want to talk to you about stormtroopers. I love a stormtrooper, always have. Uh, my absolute favourite stormtrooper is the snowtrooper from Empire Strikes Back. Um, that was the only stormtrooper figure I had as a child, but it's all you need. Uh, I love the armour design on that, it was a... Uh, a really good departure from the classic while still looking of the same design lineage and even more intimidating, I thought. Uh, the lack of any facial um, features apart from the eyes was really intimidating. I went to a game show, geek show for like Warhammer or something a couple of years ago and the guys from the 501st Legion were there dressed up in the, uh, the old Stormtrooper gear and you know when these turn and look at you, pretty intimidating actually, genuinely. It, 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 it did something to the back of my monkey brain. And I don't know whether that's because the films have conditioned me to see these as the enemy. Or just because there's something in the design. And these are a magnificent design. Because this is, this is a modern toy. But this is a modern toy of a piece of design work that was done 42 years ago-ish. You know, this would have been done 40, uh, 75, 76 maybe. Because um, the film was released 77. So you'd hope the pre-production had been a while before that. So it's heading towards mid-70s. And this doesn't look mid-70s at all. Um, it's a set of armour that is very slim. It's even the act... I mean, this, this looks unnaturally thin. I know. I don't know what thin is. I, I don't know. But my point is, even the, 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 the men in the costume... It's not bulky armour. It's not Starship Troopers inspired, 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 inspired Marauder armour type stuff. It's very much a, um, a, a casing that goes over the body that's almost part of the body. And it's lightweight and it's... Um, as a protection, it's not even that useful. I think it's more as a faceless... Um, to make you look almost like a droid in the Star Wars universe. And I think that possibly was the plan, to make them look like a droid, act like a droid, lose, no, have no compassion, no mercy, you can't build a relationship with them, because they're all identical. Um, so, other armours, other films of the day, like Flash Gordon, you know, the 1981, that had the sort of the red fabric armour with the long snout and stuff. But this somehow just caught it right and I think because a lot of the design on Star Wars they started with not what looks cool but how would this work how would this work if this was real so you've got the helmet and you've got the voice box you've got the air intakes you've got the cool vents you've got I don't know that could be for an antenna I know there's I've got a book somewhere that talks about exactly what of course I have of course I have Got a book that talks about exactly what's going on in the Stormtrooper helmet. Um, but it's it's been done to be as realistic as possible. And so is the rest of the armour. Um, even the fact that it's asymmetrical on the knees because you can kneel down with it. You know? Um, you've got the little bit on the back, which reminds me of... always For some reason, you know the when you see German World War II soldiers, they've got that canister that had the gas mask on. For some reason, it always makes you think, well, he's got that as well. You know, they're not hiding the inspiration too far. Um, this is this is supposed to look slightly World War II-y German soldier. Um, obviously, they were sporting a, a customised kind of sterling -y, uh, Sten, um, which looked alien, even though it was a fairly common weapon at the time. It had been around since World War II. So I've always been a big fan of the... I've always loved the design of Stormtroopers. And I love the fact that they carry through. And I love the fact that it's a... 
It is a tombstone. It didn't look out of place in Rogue One, even though they had to bring in the um, the shore troopers to sell more figures. It would have. I I would have preferred it if they just painted them tan. And of course, in the new movie, we're getting these but red because they're Sith troopers. Of course they are. Of course they are. You keep doing what you keep doing, and we'll half enjoy it, half hate it. Why would we not? So, stormtrooper. I've got. What, so what I've done is I've collected quite a um, an array of stormtrooper alia. Stormtrooper alia. I, and even the, the the first order stuff. I like the first order stuff as well. Um, and I've got a whole shelf of first order Funko Pops. Oh, I told you, full Christmas full. Sorry, um, I've got this dude here who's just quite happily changing colour. That's really nice. Uh, my nephew Lewis, he likes that at night when he comes to stay, or he, when he was younger. Um, he likes that because it it sort of it's like a nice little night light, but it's a bit geeky because sometimes night lights can be a little bit um, even babyish, but older kids sometimes need them. So that's nice, and it just pulses gentle colours. But that shows the design of the helmet that I really love. It's intimidating. You know, there's a lot going on there. The, eye, the, the heavy brow makes it look like it's angry with you. Um, the big black eyes, um, the accentuated features, the, 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 they look a bit like mandibles from a big insect. And you know what our monkey brains are like. Big insects just freak us out. So automatically just put us on the back foot. And the colouring is, is out there as well. There's, you know, the bone white, bright white. Um, films like Crawl and, and other films, they always have black armour and, and heavily like plated that moves against each other. There's no moving points on this. This is all just a um, just a shell that goes over the human to make them look more drawed like, to look more um, identical. I don't think it's there for protection. I think it's there just to make them look um, less human. That's, that's in, a, in the in-universe description. So according to the other gems that I've got here, uh, as I said, I do love the Snow Trooper and the Black Series Snow Trooper is next level. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. It's got to be the greatest Black Series figure and it's one of the best Stormtrooper armors. I mean, just look at that. There's no facial features, but the character in it, he's looking right at you and he's going to bash you up. Do you know what I mean? There's a lot going on there. I really like that. Uh, and then, of course, there's the the Sand Trooper, which, which is cool because even in the first Star Wars film, we get variations in the armour, which is kind of rare. It shows... A, a bit, they didn't have to do a separate armour for the guys down on Tatooine, but they did. And they had more kit, and they had the shoulder pauldrons. <laughs> I know what that word is, and I've just forgotten it, and I better look at absolute dim ball now. I'm sure it's a pauldron. 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 Large Hadron. Collider. Pina Collider. Coca-Cola. No, I lost it. So anyway, that's a cool design as well. I really like that. And that's also a very good figure. And uh, these aren't the droids you're looking for, mate. You keep telling me, but, I, uh, you know, I'm telling you, they're not the droids you're looking for. This is a, a little plush First Order. He's cuddling, isn't he? Um, yeah, quite a few nieces and nephews have cuddled up to this at night, calling it Stormy. I really like the proportions of it. Uh, it's cute, but it's still obviously a Stormtrooper, even though it's a First Order Stormtrooper. You going over there? Yep. He's happy. Uh, this one's a real bonus. This, if you compare this, now this is one of them like Disney ones that's official, and that was like a tenor or some top, right? And it does know it can it can it moves at the hips and shoulders, very similar to the original uh, the original figure from seventy eight or whatever it was. Um, but this is a bubble bath, a bubble bath from Asda. And you know what? He can aim his weapon, he can move his arms up and down, he can move his head. It's um, it's in every way a better toy than the toy. And this is just a shampoo bottle. Go figure. Uh, but this, I think this is really nice as well. And I, I was, 
I was so glad to get it because there weren't many left when I got this. Uh, it sold like hot cakes. Um, and I really like the detail on the gun as well. So much detail for essentially a shampoo bottle. Brilliant. Do you like that? Um, what else is here? Oh, yeah, Storm Tater. It's Mr. Potato Head, but he's a Storm Trooper. And he's got his uh, laser masher there. And there's a few other bits. I don't know what other bits you get. Oh, you get a proper face, so you can, yeah, he wants that. Um, so, yeah, that's a, a fun tale. That's getting old now, actually. I bet this is like early 2000s. But that's, uh, that's probably getting up to be an antique in its own right, just like me. Um, he's got an arm off! Be careful! Yeah. Uh, oh, my mother in law bought me this. It's a Lite Up Storm. A Lite? Is that the correct terminology? A Lite Up Storm Trooper. Um, and you can turn that on or off. It's up to you. It's got du dual mode. Dual mode. So if I do that, it's in complete transit lockout. Turn it back on. Uh, and that's either battery or USB. That's a lovely little thing. I love the fact he's so tubby. Look at his belly. Isn't that the cutest? Yeah, all right. We've all had a laugh, mate. A fat. Um, so that's that. That's nice. And then what else have we got here? Couple of Funko Pops. Snowtrooper Funko. I don't think Funko Pops suit Stormtroopers. Because I think Funko Pops managed to get massive, massive characterization into very little detail. The problem is, when it's got little detail to start with, they struggle even more. So I think they're only average. I've got quite a few of the, the First Order ones. Um, I think the First Order ones lend themselves to Funko Pops better. I do. Um, and then finally, the mug. Really nice for hot chocolate. Uh, and this is a, a pro proper Lucasfilm. No Disney on this. That could predate Disney. Um, but that's really nice as well. It's a mug. Really nice hot chocolate. Soup. Soup. So, that's that's largely my collection of Stormtrooper stuff. I've got a bit more here and there. But any more, I'm going to get boring. I think it probably got boring anyway. But the long story short of it is, when I was a little boy, I loved Stormtroopers and Luke Skywalker in X-Wing gear. That's all I needed in life. Never, I wasn't a big fan of Han Solo until I got older. Boba Fett, Boba Who. It was always Luke and X-Wing. Because the orange, orange jumpsuit, man. What's wrong with the orange jumpsuit? Unless you're in Guantanamo, orange jumpsuits are cool. And Stormtroopers. And I loved the, uh, the Snow Trooper in Empire Strikes Back. I thought that was the coolest looking outfit. Uh, I loved the, uh, the original Stormtroopers. It's clean and it's fresh, even 40 years on, still looks amazing. So, that's all I've got to tell you. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I know it wasn't particularly very funny, but it, I thought it was interesting. I didn't give you any details because I didn't really look into it because I'm talking about my little collection here. Um, so maybe I should have put more effort into this. I apologise. But like I say, I'm full. And as you know, my hands are tied, full of food. So thanks for watching, if you enjoyed it subscribe, like, make a comment if you've got a collection of Star Wars figures of your own you want to share with us all. If you want to ask me any questions about any of these Star Wars uh, Stormtrooper figures, uh, I'm more than willing to answer. And thanks for watching, good night.